in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's no, it's a Katarina that didn't read the patch notes of Nico's rework and now she has no color on her screen. Oh my god. What is that? That's just someone teleporting and not realizing that one of these hoodlums just catfished her heart on the old Tinder profile. So don't worry, Miss B. But also. Skin sales in the Nico department must have been low because Riot slapped the rework button for this tie-dyed lizard and the only notable change is that she can now identify as pretty much whatever she wants to and you may be thinking yeah so what this is 2023 get with the times but the thing is if people don't accept it here they will be losing their LP. But this changes everything as players weren't programmed by any champ before to have to count minions or analyze NPC movements and it has all players at all ranks falling for the dumbest tricks in the book and I love it. For example the other day I was just like hello my little top lane Teemo I will be escorting you as a hooded midget to the pre-game prom and he was all like nah bro people don't fall for that shit and then you know what happened? Weaponized Stephen Hawking walked right into the trap. Sure he didn't die and then he felt the need to verbally harass me and chat so you know what I did. I came back with the same exact trick in the next wave and he fell for it again and that's because 99% of league players aren't even paying attention to their main monitor half the time let alone suspecting if one minion looks to have a bit more pep in his step than the rest so today I decided to show how when it comes to league, things are no longer what they seem. For example Twitter is a quote unquote social media site but it's actually just a place where angry people get to harass others, TikTok is just the marketing department of OnlyFans. And 90% of dating apps are where girls go to get attention and guys go to purchase lottery tickets at a chance of winning a trip to pound town. But if you combine something like Twitter, TikTok and dating apps into one thing and design it for gamers, you get C-League. The first social network that's also a teammate friend finder and scrollable content platform as an app on the market. For example I am posting TikTok and Twitter type of content straight to the Z-League feed while also being able to use the app to find people who won't just run it down in my games. Even if you aren't into the whole let's be social and interact with other humans thing the app has all kinds of other tournaments and events where you can compete for free and win actual prizes or coins that can be used to purchase dank things without ever having to pop your wallet's cherry. Everything is free and if you use my link below to download the Z-League app you'll get 500 coins and be able to see all the weird shit I'll be posting on my feed so give it a try today. Okay so game 1 in proving that this rework breaks the rift I decide to identify as a melee minion while walking with the ranged pack absolutely nothing at all suspicious about that and then I'm over here looking like it's my first day on the new job having no idea what the shit I'm doing but I'm telling you people ignore minions more than a ginger stepchild as this Rengar walks straight into me then deep throats a fruit loop before engaging in a slap battle for a few seconds until getting lit on fire and running off as a burnt kitty. Then I take a quick trip bot not to pull some shenanigans down there but rather because my MF was getting her tits pushed in like buttons on a broken vending machine but Jin didn't get the memo that his eyes sent him that this wasn't a 1v2 anymore so he gets some time in base to check his inbox. And I just wanna go back to pretending that I am things I'm not but that requires my Karthus to pretend he's something he's not either. A good player so he gets caught and I need to come in like the wambulance whip a silly band at the oversized tabby and wait for him to do a little bush bobbing bucket list before dying. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? And despite a rather poor execution of trying to blend in, this retro metro sexual Aatrox is stuck fleeing the scene of his own pending murder while I chase until one more skittle settles the slaughter. I head bot because Kanye and the ruined simp are arguing over which champ Riot August jerks off to more before bad and my hope was if I kill one of them maybe I could get that image out of my head but no luck. Anyways my mom told me I need to try to relate more to people and maybe I will make more friends so I try but these rocks are dickheads as they weren't accepting applications to join the family and so I was left out in the cold with Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Oh hey Nautilus bet you didn't expect for a seemingly AFK caster minion to turn this into a 2v1 because I sure as hell wouldn't have myself. Check this strat out I saw this on TikTok and between jiggling ass vids all you do is spawn a stepsister and then tell her to fake a back that way when lanky lucifer picks a prison brawl the last thing he'll expect is for you to be there and the last thing you'll expect is Kane to be there and voila, TikTok tips. 
But here's the thing you can use your polyjuice potion for defensive baits too you see here I'm just blending in with the Hufflepuff babies when that wall hacking dick reaper comes in expecting to get a free kill only to be surprised with a hell of a lot of color before the ones on his screen get turned off for quick 40 seconds. How would they know? How would they know? I can. I can. You see the last thing this ADC would have expected was for the slowly moving tentacle to be me popping out to interrupt his counting but anyways I then peel off more than a baked banana when I see the Rengar Altai balls, but I stick around as adult supervision in case some bullshit starts going down and I need to step and hit a colorful cannonball and send these shitters back to bed. Side note my team is getting shit on more than a cup in a video featuring two girls that I will never unsee and the main culprit is this giga mobile shit stain and I know if I'm gonna beat him I'm gonna have to pull out the stepsister tie him up and do dirty things to him combo. But my team's idea of contesting objectives was to line up single file and go in one at a time like it was kindergarten and they are giving out choco milks to the good kids so even though I could aerially fuck this gin, I had to make like a fart and blow this shit hole right after. That is until I got this brilliant idea. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Okay, so I think Neil Armstrong may have known so I had to make sure he wouldn't tell anyone my secret. So yeah, Kane had like 69 kills and my team lost all will to win as is tradition in this piss pit of a game but sucks for them cause minions can't vote to forfeit so I just have to commit until I realize I'm in way over my head on this one and there was only one thing to do which totally resulted in this, this, and this, and definitely not this. But at the end of the day even though I was making sure this gin couldn't play this game, my own teammates were making sure I couldn't either so while I think the first attempt on the rework Nico proved that people don't pay attention, we still lost. Now game 2 was the one I told you about in the intro which started with the whole rumble rendezvous got him on round 2 type of bullshit but what I didn't tell you was that my jungler was a rise. My mid laner woke up wanting to play roaming Leona and my team Otop was certified in 12 states to be a dickhead. And here's the thing when you enroll in the blue robe academy you gotta stay with the class or you'll get voted out as an imposter so while Timo was back here typing about some bullshit instead of playing, I set up another surprise you a dead bitch on the battle bot bunny which failed because he'd rather type, while Rumble's thinking he survived because he could actually tell it was me. So I would just immediately turn around and do it again the next time Timo wasn't too busy type taunting a stranger in a video game to play to shut this rabbit up. But eventually both me and the troll Leo take a trip bot. Me cosplaying a teeny weeny wizard and the look on this morgue's face when I said surprise bitch was priceless. So she goes down and then I request Leo give Lux a sunburn so that we could say it wasn't murder it was melatonin your honor in court. You see when I'm a minion I like to run to the right of all the other minions because I'm not a minion I'm a fruit looping murderer muahaha. Then I decided to head mid to make these shitters think they caught my mid laner slash roaming support troll douche snozzle out in the wild but really what they caught was a case of the colorful cannonball baby, and then I let Leo die right after cuz fuck that hoe. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Rumble talked a big game but he was always more shocked than a toaster in a bathtub every time I popped out which left him in the base with time to confirm he's a 9 year old who just got home from school. And he may have thought he was catching on but I am willing to bet this Lux was not thinking about how many minions a crashing wave at this point in the game should have because goddamn she nailed the Ahega face when I popped out and Ariel banged her to oblivion. Side note I really didn't pay attention to anything else in her rework but it did sure as hell feel like they buffed her E2. Anyways their team's crusty cat turd is muck banging on some minions so I run over thinking I will give him one more but seems weird he didn't want to finish the job, which meant I'd need to reveal my real identity as the tie-dyed lizard who was a corroborating witness in his homicide. That said this little ratchet ass rumble kept telling me that I needed a new trick so you know what I did. But while it seemed like all fun and games there Gwen was Sweeney Todd shitting on everyone in this game and I couldn't catch the little bitch barber for the life of me so I had to settle for a double and then play some base goalie against the porcupine getting out right after until the boys were all here to take turns cream pieing a cracker and making him eat it right after. Thank god this rumble spent more time thinking he knew what I was pretending to be rather than realizing I was just Nico flat out in front of his face because it let us get the drake that's older than the others. 
and then I pretended to be frontline Leo for the last one making sure Morg described both her name and her location before charging up an alt thinking nothing could stop before charging up an alt thinking nothing could stop me and with that, I think it's pretty obvious at least in my elo that this small passive rework alone completely changed the way a lot of people need to view their games and I for one love this shit. Rav out.